Are you guys curious if a $5 DVD player can sound better than a $1,500 CD transport? Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Audio Architects. My name's Mike. Thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to check out my other content. I, I seem to think, I seem to believe that I put out pretty good stuff, so you might like it. If you dig it, I definitely would love for you to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Also, if you like the video, smash that like button. And there's a little bell at the very far right where you can ring it and get notified every time I put out new content. So my plan for today is to debunk this thing, okay, so here's a story in a very, very short, short form. I put out an article on my uh, website that uh, was titled, Are CD Players Still Relevant? And I got a mixed reviews from it. So I got, a lot of people were like, yeah, hell yeah, CD players, for sure. I'm a CD fanatic, I love CDs, so I have a nice, collection and my collection keeps growing and growing and growing uh, a, f a lot of people were saying oh well you can get the same quality from a just a basic dvd player and another one was saying that you know because i was telling them look a cd a professional a nice you know high-end cd transport like the premier dd15 that i have right behind me will sound better and is built better and it's built for this purpose and they're still like no no you know full of crap so i went to goodwill and i bought this sony dvd player for six dollars and 99 cents it's the dvp sr 510h i don't know they had like five of these that looked exactly the same however i chose this one because it did have a coaxial coaxial digital out which i will be using so basically all i'm going to be doing is uh, replacing the coax from my CD transport to here and doing an A-B test, an A-B sound test. And you guys are gonna have to take my word for it because it's just, there's nobody else here to, to help me out. Um, this is a very basic DVD player. This is not fancy whatsoever. I think probably in its prime, it might've been like a $40, $50 CD player, but I do need, I, I would like to clean it up a little bit and, uh, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it all ready. And I'm actually excited to see if there's gonna be any kind of audible difference. I mean, I know that a lot of people believe that it's just, you know, the drive's a drive. And if you're using it as a transport, it doesn't matter. Um, I guarantee you that if I was using it uh, with a DAC built in, it would sound absolutely horrifying. Uh, which we could try too, but um, I, I, I'm really interested to see tit for tat, using it as a transport in the same way I'm using the Premiere, how much more of a sonic difference the Premiere has. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. Uh, stay tuned. I will come back and share with you my findings. And if you haven't checked out the video I did on the Premiere, you can check it out right here, right here, right here. And it'll be in the description below because I think the Premiere DD15 CD transport is an absolute fantastic device i think it's amazing i love it i love the way it looks i love the way it sounds it's just a beautiful player so today we're gonna see if this sony can <laughs> i don't even know why i'm doing this but <laughs> everybody was bugging me <laughs> um let's see what happens i'm actually pretty pretty curious guys let's see what happens so i'm i'm, I'm hopeful that the premiere will do better I, I i think i'm more than sure it will however we will debunk this whole mystery behind it's just a freaking CD drive. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, everyone, so after a few A-B tests, 
using a, a few different CDs and things of that sort. Here's what I found. Here are my findings. So right off the bat, uh, the operation, the Premiere had much quieter operation. After you insert the disc, you can't even hear it. You can't hear that it's spinning. You can't hear anything. On the Sony, very loud operation. You put it in, it's like, you know, it, 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 it just, that, 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 that was the first thing that caught my eye, uh, or ear more so. As far as the sound, as far as the imaging, as far as all that other stuff, the Primer had a better low response, low end response, uh, so better bass. Don't ask me how. It's just, when, in comparison, when I compare two songs with, I mean, the same track, same song, same CD, the Premiere had better bass, um, better clarity, much better clarity, and a much lower noise floor. So uh, with the Sony, you can, I suppose if you're just using, you know, regular speakers in a regular environment, I think the Sony would be fine, you know, if you're pairing it with a competent DAC and using it as a, a transport rather than a player. Because the DAC that comes on the Sony, you saw it when I opened it up, it's not anything out of this world. And a lot of times also um, the design and the engineering that goes into, you know, when the signal exits the player, that also has a lot to do with the you know, overall sound quality. And I'm really going in the layman's terms there because I want you guys to, I want my audio, I don't want to, you know, speak in an in, in file and have people not understand what I'm saying. So um, I can barely speak audiophile, by the way. I am not like fully bilingual in audiophile. However, there's a lot that goes to a good CD player slash transport. Using a DVD player, as a lot of people had suggested in the comments of my article that I wrote in, and they were very passionate, you know, and I appreciate their passion. I appreciate their, their feedback. However, I just tested it myself. The Premiere is superior to the Sony, for sure, 100%, 100%. Is it far superior to where it's night and day? No, not at all. They both essentially serve the same purpose and do the same job. However, the Premiere has been engineered to do it quieter, and with better sound quality. That is, that, that, that's what they've put into it. That's why it's a $1,500 player or transport. Like I said, if you got a simple setup, you got, you know, you're trying to stay under the two, $300 range all in, that Sony's a great option if you have a cool little DAC to pair it with, like the Topping E30, for example. Topping E30 in that little player will sound actually really good, you know, coming out of the right speakers especially if you have some powered speakers or something like that, boom, you got yourself a full little package, you know? However, if you're looking for audiophile quality, you're looking for high quality, you're looking for the clarity, the just just that beautiful sound that the Premiere has. I mean, you know where you got to go. So, you can't you can't skimp, you can't you can't make these wild allegations that it's all just ones and zeros and it's the same thing and it's it's not, guys. It's not, because the Premiere wouldn't cost $1,500 if it did. It's not just fluff in there. It's not marketing fluff in there. It's actual engineering. It's actual, you know, technology that goes into these things. So, um, but like I said, was it astronomical difference? No. I thought the Sony sounded just fine, to be honest. But it was louder, noisier. You know, you could hear it. You could hear the difference. I could hear the difference. But I, you know, obviously... I'm sticking with the Premiere because it sounds way better. In my in my opinion, it sounds way better, you know? So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope I didn't disappoint too many of you. <laughs> but however, like I said, if, if you're looking for a simple, inexpensive system, I did just prove that running a DVD player, you know, through a DAC can be an option. However, if you're looking for that extra, going that extra mile, Premiere is not a bad way to go. So thanks for joining me, guys. We will see you on the next video. If you haven't checked it out yet, I do have a Patreon. I want to thank my two patrons, Giles from Home Theater Fanatics and Randy from Cheap Audio Man. Thank you both for being awesome patrons. I am going to be implementing tons of more content into my patronage. So make sure to check that out. 
it's a great way to support the channel and it's a great way uh, to support these videos to continue. So thank you guys so much. And if you haven't already, smash that like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.